Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. Today in this video tutorial session, we are going to install Flutter on Windows 10. I will show you everything step by step. Right here you can see on my screen, there is a list of steps and we are going to start with the first step. In the first step, we have to download Flutter SDK. And this is the link, the same link given in the description box. So guys, get that link. And open your favorite browser go to the address bar and paste the link then hit enter here we go so you will be landed on this page so very first thing you have to check you are okay with the uh, system requirement and you must fulfill these system requirements for operating system and for the disk space and these tools are required if you are working with Windows 10, so everything you will have. Later on, you can install the Git. After that, we have this uh, Flutter SDK download link. So this is the button. So we have to click to download. Once you click, a downloading uh, will start. The file is big and uh, this will take time. So please wait for the complete downloading. Once the file is downloaded, so copy the same file and uh, go to the C drive. I have already downloaded the zip file and I am copying the same in the C drive. In the C drive, we will extract this zip file. I am doing this thing because uh, for uh, avoiding the path issues. Once the file is comp uh, zip file is copied this place, just extract it right here. And we will get this Flutter folder. The full extraction will take uh, 3 to 4 minutes. So we have to wait for that. It's done. And uh, finally we have this Flutter folder. Now we are on the step 3. So in the step 3 we have to set up the path of uh, this Flutter up to bin folder. Inside the environment variable also we will set java underscore home. So exactly we are inside the flutter folder so we have all these files the uh, setup files and uh, we have to go inside the bin folder and just copy the path like this C flutter bin now we are going inside the environment variable do the right click of my PC advanced settings then click on the environment variables and this is the window inside the system variable section uh, look for the path <coughs> click edit and this window will open click new so new entry will be made and uh, here we have to simply paste the path up to bin folder click ok right now it, it is set and please check if you have a java underscore home uh, environment variable if you don't have so please create one right now I, I found uh, java home is missing in my system so I am creating the first java underscore home and uh, selecting the JDK folder. So JDK is installed in a program files in C drive. So I am looking for that. Okay, I got it. This is the JDK folder in the C drive. So we have to give the path up to JDK folder only. Look at this. Okay, it's done. Save it everything and close. So we are done with the step 3. Now in the step 4 we have to open the command prompt and then we have to type a simple command flutter doctor. So guys let me tell you doctor is a utility to check all the requirements of flutter development is met or not. So flutter doctor utility doctor utility will check your uh, system that you have installed all the prerequisite things or not. If you don't fulfilling the requirement so that will be reported on this command prompt so this is the command prompt open and now we are going to run the flutter command we are going to run the flutter doctor here we go press enter okay finally we got the summary from the flutter command so this this is reporting that uh, we don't have android toolchain and unable to locate the android sdk and this is suggesting to install the android studio and also android studio not installed and this is reporting and there's no connected device so all these requirements are not there in the system so we have to 
install Android Studio first to resolve most of the problems. So first I will suggest you to install the Android Studio because this is the most important dependency to work with in Flutter SDK. Also this is uh, mentioning the uh, download location of the Android Studio. The URL is given in this uh, message. So first we will uh, copy this URL and uh, open the Chrome browser and enter uh, in the address bar. Hit enter and uh, you will be landed on this uh, Android Studio page. So this is the official download page of the Android Studio. And here we have a direct download link for the Android Studio. The size is very big. Click OK and uh, accept, accept the license agreement then click and uh, your Android Studio EXE start downloading. Now you can see the size is 871 MB. So this will take time. To save the time I have already downloaded the Android Studio. Not, now we are going to install it. So just double click on the EXE and you will see uh, the very first screen right here like this and welcome Android Studio click next and uh, this simply click next no change click next next and install this will take 5 to 10 minutes for the installation so please wait for that once it is finished you will see this message completing android studio setup click finish and launch the android studio in this step we have to android uh, launch the android studio to set up the sdk because uh, we are first time installing the Android Studio, so we don't have a Android SDK proper. So this will report you like this, missing SDK. So Android Studio detected that we don't have the SDK and this is required to run Android Studio. And this is automatically detected and reported. So simply we have to click the next button. And this will show you the package that uh, the the setup is going to download and install on your system okay click next and uh, you can see the list uh, the SDK components Android emulator build tools and the SDK platform is 30 also Android SDK tool command line tools click next and finish and you will see uh, this uh, progress bar so Make sure you are connected to the internet because uh, for SDK download and installation internet is must, internet is required. So make sure you are connected to the fast internet. And for this will take time, uh, first this will download the all the packages of uh, SDK that components of SDK one by one and then this will install in your machine. So take rest and uh, first let this setup to finish its task this is uh, this step is little bit time consuming so but this is a uh, must once this is completed you will see this is screen and here we are going to create first project click on this start new project click any activity right now ne click next and uh, this is the name and rest of the things as it is click finish no need to set anything leave it as it is click finish and uh, you will see the loading of the home screen of the android uh, studio previously we were getting the message that we are unable to locate the android sdk because android studio was not installed now we are loading the Android Studio. Once this is completely loaded, then we will check again by running the same command Flutter Doctor and then we will see the results. Okay, the, this is loaded. Now I just closed and uh, opening again the command prompt, a fresh window to check the 
everything is correct or not again going to run the same command flutter doctor click enter now tool is checking everything is on place or not if something is missing this will be reported right here okay so we got one error message android license not accepted also and we got one more uh, successful message android studio is found so this is in the green checkbox and uh, one more uh, thing is reported connected device not found okay so we will fix these things one by one so for the android license not found not accepted for this issue we have to run this simple command that is mentioned and suggested by the same doctor utility flutter doctor hyphen hyphen android hyphen licenses the so same command will be executed once and everything will be set up so here we go so we have to type a simple same command flutter doctor that is mentioned above in the instructions android hyphen licenses hit enter and you will see uh, this uh, progress after that uh, this will ask you to accept type yes enter type yes enter accept yes yes finally yes and you will see all SDK package licenses accepted now again we are going to run the flutter doctor command diagnose in progress now you can see the previous error has gone now tool chain is uh, found and android sdk also found android studio found and the only one thing is left connected device is not available so guys we have to connect one device to the system i will show you now it's time to go on the seventh step which is important step in which we have to download a plugin as you can see we have completed the step six android studio installation and uh, now we are on the step seven this is the important step we need a flutter plugin and a dart plugin to start the programming for the creation of uh, android application so we have to download flutter plugin inside the android studio so guys here we go go to the file menu now come to the settings and on the left hand side menu so you have to select the plugin item and then here in the search box we have to type flutter or dart anything so just type flutter And right now this is uh, on the installed tab and click on here search in marketplace so you will see the a very first result uh, that is the flutter plugin the same plugin we have to install so simply click at this uh, green button install and this will report you that the dart plugin is required and this will be also installed so this is automatically fetch the dart plugin because this is the dependency and this will be automatically installed and everything is installed now we have to restart the IDE you can just simply click on that restart or you can manually restart your IDE so we are going to start manually exit and again I am opening uh, the Android studio now so restart is uh, required to have uh, to take uh, everything in effect now this is Android studio is loading first time this uh, loading will take time after that this will uh, not take much time the home screen is loading okay this is loaded now we will verify the both plugins are there or not so again we will go inside the file menu item
then go to the plugins and check the installed section click on the installed tab and uh, you can see the dart and uh, the flutter both are installed so we are good to go with this uh, installation and finally we have completed the everything only one thing is pending we need a one connected device so guys uh, we have to connect one android device and i am showing you the few more steps required to remove this error as well after connecting the device we will again run the same flutter doctor command to verify the things we are going to connect the android device and we will see what we have to do so once before connecting guys you have to open your android device go to the settings and inside the settings look for the developer options this is the most important step before connecting you must have the developer options enabled click here and just scroll down you will see the uh, debugging section under this you have to enable usb debugging once you click and you will see a message along usb debugging so click ok now we are ready to connect this device to the system by using the usb port so we are going to connect now this is connected and once we connect we will see this message allow usb debugging for this computer click ok and now this device is connected to my system and uh, in this command prompt we are going to again run the flutter doctor command just type flutter doctor hit enter sorry for this uh, shaky video and uh, but this is necessary to show you the exact thing and guys you can see the results all the requirements are fulfilled and uh, you can see the finally message new no issue found so everything is proper and exact and we are good to go to start developing the android application in this android studio with the help of uh, flutter sdk right now on the top side you can see the selected device is reporting that uh, this is connected and we can uh, run the very first application in this android device directly so this video is very lengthy and i am closing this uh, session right here and this we will create the first application and then we will deploy on the device in my next tutorial on this uh, flutter tutorial series so guys this is the whole uh, steps for the perfect installation of the flutter sdk in your windows uh, 10 so guys if you found this tutorial useful please like this tutorial and please uh, subscribe my channel or you can press the bell icon so you will get the latest video updates on upcoming tutorials Thanks for watching. Cool IT help.